we were we were in our own right rolling out stores, you know, in the in the order of one every other week, something like that, towards the end. Um, so we had to ritualize and to and to um, uh, what's the word, you know, carbon copy eyes. These some of these things that we did, including the grand opening uh, ceremonies. And so what we would do is we would hire a klezmer band. We would affix a mezuzah to the door. We would have some kosher champagne. And then we'd break into a hora and we'd dance around the store. And we were in some areas, I gotta tell you folks, they had never seen a Jewish person. You know, much less Jews dancing around and men holding arms and putting up little things on the door. I mean, the whole thing was, was very alien to some of these communities we went into. But the authenticity was celebrated. And I think what was um, almost more important than uh, the, the party that we had was the next day. All of the employees that um, uh, would open a new store would go out and do a service project even before we, we actually opened the doors for business. And in that way, you know, we demonstrated to the community who we were, what we stood for, and we also demonstrated that for our employees, and they got it. And so we were, you know, the, the ethos around which the company was built was able to, you know, to perpetuate to, to yet the next door um, by means of, of uh, ritualizing uh, some of the things we did that were really uh, profound and important for, uh, uh, for not only for our community, but for our suppliers uh, and for our um, customers.